for tomorrow. Sorry about the bargain. I'm gonna make a uh, fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich. A fried peanut butter jelly and a fried peanut butter jelly sandwich. In today's video, I don't even know why I'm making this video, honestly. I just came out here because I was bored and I had nothing else to do. But I did wear boots this time because most of the snow is melting and I, I figured that's gonna be more muddy. But the sun is so bright. I can barely keep my eyes open. But we're going to be going up to my fort again, but I don't know what I'm gonna be doing up there. Like I said, I was bored. Just came out here to make a video. Uh, if you're watching this, I try to upload videos at least a couple times a week. I try to if I get ideas on what to do. But I'll be with you all when I'm up at the fort. So see you all in a little bit. I'm up at my fort. Sorry about the barking. But I'm up at my fort. Fairly muddy up here because all the snow is melting. So it's gonna be pretty muddy. I did cook here something last night. I made a video on that. If you wanna go check it out. So I did kind of think on what this video is going to be about. So basically, if you're new to my channel and haven't seen my other videos, I'm gonna be walking around my Ford area and telling you guys about it and what I did to it and stuff. We'll start kinda inside my fort to start well actually not but i had a fort over in the back part of the woods somewhere i had to tear it down because it was not on our property but the person that owned it got it uh they let us build stuff on it but i don't know if they would let us build fires and let me sleep over there so my this is part of our property a little bit of it so my dad had me move so i can sleep out here now and have fires so i'm gonna show you inside my fort i can get these unattached because i only have one can i can use right. so i'll show you inside my fort so it's not that muddy in here but i'm not gonna try to walk in here but i have this board i will sleep on so you can kind of see it's not perfectly level it's more level than what i what it was when i first step on it we have to do that like put extra pieces of wood under there to have it more level which it actually is but when i made this fort i used very little sticks i put this one big stick which is lean up against the branch of a tree and i had to tie the other sticks that big branch or whatever or stick whatever you want to call it and put the tarp over it. It's pretty warm in here. I have to take this old little piece of this old tarp off another old tarp we had. Because there's a big there's a big gap in, in front of this, which I can show you. Because the wind was coming through there. So and under the snow I got leaves. That'll kind of help the water to stay out better. Stay out of the fort better. But you can't really see leaves because of snow. Got these tires here. This will kind of help the water block or sense it when it rains. Water might come down that hill, go to the fort. So this will kind of help it a little bit where water doesn't go right to my fort. Obviously we got a wood pile under there, under that tarp. This is where I obviously make fires and stuff and cook food. Got a big tire right here where I can sit on it whenever I want. But I don't really know what else to talk about. But I might head over to that other part of the woods and show you guys where my old fort used to be back. Or it used to be. That's what I meant to say. So I'll be back with you guys in a little bit when I'm over there and showing you what guys where my old fort used to be. So I am now just going into the woods or this part of the woods where my fort used to be. So it used to be right here. I'll put the links in the description below if you want to go see my first couple of videos i made of me building the fort over here if i remember to do that because i forget things pretty easily because i don't know how to remember things a lot of the time because my brain doesn't like to do that so 
We did have a wood pile. I kind of took most of the wood from that wood pile, moved it over to the uh, other place where I have my fort. But not all of it. You can see a lot of sticks that are scattered. So I didn't use all the sticks, but I did bring a lot of the sticks from this fort over there to chop up for wood. But you can see I got all this I could use whenever I need it. So me and my brother did actually build a fort in this area. We did tear it down because we we're gonna build a new one over there. But we never oh, over there, but we never did. So we used to have a tarp on this one. That's where that camera tarp came from. So that's why I had to use a little piece of that old tarp. I could not use that tarp to do that whole fort because it had a lot of holes in it. But yeah, that's basically what I did. And I'm gonna walk back over to that fort, think of some more ideas I want to talk about before I end the video. See you all in a little bit when I have more ideas I want to talk about. We are back over at my fort. I should be smart, which I'm not that smart because I did not keep this chair inside my fort when it snows and now the seat's a little bit wet. I had a lot of snow on it yesterday before all the snow melted, or most of it. So I might, when I drive, I'm putting my fort from now on. So you can see a little hole right there. Don't know why that's there. Me and my brother did actually to build a fort here once that's why i don't know if you guys can see it's kind of downhill a little bit it's dug out a little bit we use like fish fishing line to tie some of the sticks together and do right there we never finished it never got close to finishing it but it was still a fun time yeah i hate being up at my fort when it's muddy because i get obviously i get during my mud on my boots and then when all that dirt dr mud dries it goes everywhere but I don't really care but okay I see you got a ravine that's where I got some of my stuff like the tires though well that might be it for today's video cuz I ran out of ideas ran out of ideas on what to talk about so if you ain't subscribed to this channel I would recommend you hitting that subscribe button just to see some good content from me because my content's pretty good in my opinion. Uh, comment down anything. Comment down anything below in the comment section. What I should do next to the fort? What should I add up here to the fort or area? Because I don't know what else to add or do up here. Or what, what should I cook on the fire next? You can also... Comment something down what I should comment. Yeah, I can seriously not talk shy about that. But what should I cook on the fire next? Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, comment down below anything. See you all in the next video.